Hey everyone, uh, Raider Dash in Wombleware. Hope everyone's had a uh, great Monday evening. Um, I'm actually on here early for a change. All right, um, it's about quarter to twelve, <laughs> midnight, nearly midnight. Anyway, uh, yeah, like I said, I hope everyone, all the Dash has uh, earned a uh, earned a lot tonight. Um, for me, it was actually uh, pretty. Wasn't so busy, um, it was mainly because I uh, cherry picked a lot um, and didn't get started till pretty late. I don't think it started till about nearly six o'clock tonight. So, um, got out to uh, dinner a bit bit later than usual and they were, uh, they were actually pretty busy here, there tonight. So, uh, but that was good. I uh, went to Perkins in Lee's Summit usual Monday night spot or Monday spot and uh, got pie I'll put pictures up here <laughs> it was pretty good but anyway uh, yeah dinner was good there tonight not that it never is but anyway it was uh, it was pretty good but um, I still still a bit uh, on the expensive side you know for two to eat and that um, need to uh, start looking at places that are a little bit less expensive. My wife said to me earlier on, on our way home, she said, maybe we'll go to uh, Texas Roadhouse tomorrow. Really? <laughs> All right. Trying to find cheaper places to go, and she picks there. But to be fair, I mean, it is pretty... Uh, Pretty uh, reasonable there, considering uh, you get actually quite a uh, good-sized meal, and uh, it's uh, pretty darn good there. Anyway, uh, so anyway, about food, uh, not about me eating. <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, tonight I think my first job was uh, China King. I haven't been to China King for a very, very long time. Um, got up there and the app cool sweeping um, went crazy when I got there I'm like oh good grief so I had to turn it all off and reboot it all while I was outside the, uh, the restaurant excuse me I got outside the restaurant rebooted it all got it up and working went into the restaurant and uh, I don't know some of these people that, that work in the restaurants don't really have a whole lot of motivation I suspect that China King is a uh, family run restaurant um, I don't know whether the uh, the bloke at the uh, front was uh, a member of the family or just a, uh, a dopey oaf that Vipin wandered in there and got a job I, I honestly don't know but he uh, seem to have no bloody motivation or any energy to actually uh, even uh, converse vipping correctly some of these people I don't know some I just don't know some of them but anyway got the job uh, picked up the order got it on its way um, just trying to straighten this bloody thing out here um, got it on its way got it delivered I think that was like a $12 up in uh, delivery on that one I don't think I had to go that far I can't remember where the bloody thing had to go now anyway so delivered that um, really didn't do a whole lot there was a lot of ridiculous orders come through of course uh, so just uh, ignored them or <sighs> declined them uh, at some stage I did go past uh, Wingstop and uh, just to see if uh, if things had uh, changed in there uh, I didn't see uh, the car that uh, I saw Winston getting into before parked up there so hoping that he hoping that he just went home early and or had a day off because I hope they haven't got rid of him because he was a darn good manager and 
from what I've seen of there recently without him being there. Damn it. That place is going to go like the rest of them, I think. Oh, jeez. hope not. I really hope not. I'll uh, maybe give a call or something to make sure, because I definitely wouldn't, wouldn't waste my time going there, judging how... Um, unless it's later on at night, when there's really nothing else going on, then I'd probably go in there. Um, same feelings with 54th Street, really. Uh, I don't bother to go in there normally, but I went in there tonight. Um, it's a $15 or so order, but it was going to Grandview, um, but not too far into Grandview, basically just the other end of uh, 150 Highway, so it weren't too uh, traumatic. But a um, bit of a trek out there, realising coming back that there's nothing else to come back when it was a bit later on at night. But but anyway, regardless, I did that one. Um, done one to... Uh, the last one I did was to uh, the emergency room over at um, St. Luke East. So uh, dropped that one off there at the desk got a picture outside um there was a couple of other things that did during the night but really nothing really nothing really to uh report to be fair it was uh, just a uh, just a, one of those nights <laughs> just nothing really going on at all went uh, went for um a break went off to uh Sonic, yeah, Sonic, over in, uh, on Lanksford Road, and, um, I don't understand about that Sonic, it's all painted different from the other ones, but anyway, something that seems to be a bit different with that one, anyway, I got up there, and, yeah, it had loads of cones and that, blocking all the, uh, aisles, all the, uh, parking spots, except for the four or five that were right next to the entrance. So anyway, I pulled up there and I, I actually bought through the app and then checked in on the uh, thing. Because if you buy through the app, it's like half price on the drinks or whatever. And we only wanted a drink. And, um, but it said, kept coming up. It says that it's in the kitchen. And we were waiting and waiting. It's like, well, bloody hell, it's only a couple of drinks. And we weren't getting anything special. I was only getting vipping on like a Fanta or something. And um and yeah, you know, waited and waited and then this other car vipping turned up and then another one next to it and I heard them say that uh oh we're only doing drive through. But why the bloody hell didn't you tell us? We've sat here for the last ten minutes we've been waiting. Anyway so I'll go up go up to the drive through of course it's bloody well well busy by then. I mean, I can understand that they were short staffed or something, but I wish they bloody said through their bloody intercom thing. <sighs> Anyhow, um So I get to the uh, get to the order thing finally, because there was a long line by then to get to that and uh this bloke says I'll oh, you know, usual, flipping out, can you help here, whatever. And I said, I put in an order online for a uh, orange and a uh, drink of Sprite as well. And he says, what was that? Uh, fucking hell, well, that kind of pissed me off. <laughs> so I wasn't exactly in the best flipping uh, of moods by then. Anyhow, uh, so I got that straightened out got down in, got down the other end. Didn't even have to bloody well get to the actual order window, they came out, so I don't know why they didn't bloody well come out. We've been before. Anyhow, waste of bloody time. Like I said, I can understand that they were short staffed, I just wish they had a flipping well have opened their mouths on their thing and told us that. And, actually, and hadn't act like a complete and utter flipping prep, flipping on the bloody order line order box anyhow uh, so so that I'm going to go back to that flipping one again
all over these places. They have a habit of changing staff just like that. Tomorrow it could be someone completely bloody different. I went to, oh yeah, there was the other one. I went to Five Guys tonight. And uh, there was only two blokes working in there. Two kids working in there. Apparently someone else had quit there. You know, they'd quit and thrown their shirt on the ripping on the uh, desk there. They were just gone. So they were just left. Just two of them left there, but it was a bit of a wait, but nothing too, bo nothing too bothersome. And I think the order was paying all right anyway, so it's not like there was a whole lot else going on. Um, did a um, Hawaiian Brothers, but it was, that was pretty late. Where was that going? Maybe that was the one that was going to uh, the hospital. Yeah, I think that was the one going to the hospital. Anyway, uh, they don't normally come out when it's dark because you normally just pull up to the, the uh, order online bipping thing and they come out but anyway no one was out there maybe it was too cold from i don't know but anyway i just went through the drive through i don't normally do that but i was feeling that i didn't want to get out get my ass out of the car at that point out of the van so i just went through the drive through and i had it there waiting but no, uh, oh yeah, went past Spider House tonight. Spider House uh, is the one that's on on Douglas, and I think on the corner of Orchard Street. Uh, I always forget what corner street it's on, but it's uh, over that way. And um, they're in Lee Summit. Called it the Spider House because Halloween, it's got up team ma massive, great bloody uh, uh, inflatable spiders. Oh, jeez, they've got loads of them. But anyway, all that's gone now because Halloween's gone. I don't know, they must have bloody uh, investment in that, in uh, inflatables or something. But no, they've got a turkey out there now for Thanksgiving. <laughs> Anyhow, I've got a picture of it. Got a couple, well, actually, my wife took the pictures of it. She was near it that, at that point. She got those out the window, and uh, I'll put the pictures up here. They're quite funny. It's quite... Uh, funny thing to that so uh some might uh, take a little bit to uh figure out what the uh funny quote is next to it so <laughs> have a look at it it's quite funny uh, but yeah um lots of christmas stuff going up we see that the magic tree is a had uh been uh, lit up a couple of nights ago uh down there on uh was it 470? Can't remember. Yeah, it's on 470 somewhere. 470 and View High Drive. The magic tree. It's all lit up in uh, Christmas lights. Or whatever lights they call it. But anyway, it's all coloured lights. That's quite nice to go see. But you can't drive up and see it just yet. They, The gates are closed. So you'll have to uh, wait till it's all open. Um, but yeah... I don't think there's really a heck of a lot else to uh, talk about, to be fair. I've just, uh, nothing else. Nothing else at all. Just uh, still need to uh, get repairs done on the van, but it, the van's still going. You know, if you've not seen, seen the clocks on my van, um, I take a picture of the mileage every day. And the reason I take a picture of the mileage every day, well take a picture of the mileage every day is that this way if there's a, uh, a mess up on the um, uh, mile trackers I've got two of them on there and they're conflicting sometimes like if I have to turn the phone off to reboot it because door dash system has gone with it being crazy again then it, it messes those up and sometimes they just mess up on their own. But anyway, so tonight's one, um, one said it I'd done 39 miles. Like, well, I think that's wrong. <laughs> and uh, the other one said I'd done 99 miles, which is about right. So tonight, I mean, I'm at uh, 217,470 miles. 470 miles. Woof. Van's getting up there. <laughs> getting up there. 
um, but it's surviving somehow. Uh, uh, I do like it, good van, good uh, vehicle, very versatile. May not be the best on uh, fuel economy, but um, it's uh, it does well. I mean, it's got everything in here that I want. I've got the sliding doors makes things easier to get in and out out of here when I'm uh, putting stuff in the uh, catering bags which just lays right by that door all the uh, pizza bags are right there so I can just open up the sliding door and grab that it's all power in it um, I mean I could deal with it without power but it, it's it makes things a lot easier got the backup camera as well which I never ever thought I would ever rely on a backup camera. And actually, I don't always. I mean, sometimes I do forget that is there, but but um, but it, it makes things a lot easier. And uh, if you have got one of these backup cameras, and um, you know you've got an older vehicle that is, I mean, this is a 2012 van, so uh, technology isn't um, as good as it was when it is now so uh it i don't understand why uh, dodge did this it was crazy they got rear lights in it that are led but then they put the incandescent vipping real uh, reverse light bulbs which uh kind of crap <laughs> when you're backing up and you're in a country dark vipping driveway or whatever so i've got bright led bulbs in it so if you haven't if you haven't, um, I changed them. If uh, you've got uh, the old incandescent tipping crap bulbs, then uh, get these. Uh, get these ones. I'll put a link on here, hopefully down there. But um, they really make a difference. Heck, of a lot of difference. Um, but yeah, so another top tip. But yeah, it's. Uh, but yeah, I like the van. It's uh, very versatile. Lots of room in there, although I tend to have got lots of crap right in the boot. But uh, yeah, it's uh, everything's here that I want. Plenty of room. Plenty of room to hide, hide rubbish. <laughs> I don't know what I've got in this van half the time. But the bags are here. There's plenty of room for all the bags because um, I've got quite a few of them. Um, I keep throwing my uh, uh, sweaters or jumpers on the back seat and coats on the back seat because I get too, uh, I don't like to be uh, too confined up. Maybe I think I'm wearing a straight jacket or something. But here I'm back in short sleeves and it is 51 degrees. That's not too bad. My wife says it's cold all the bloody time, so... But yeah, there's plenty of room in this. So if you're uh, looking to do door dashing or looking for a vehicle to uh, use, I'd recommend getting one of these. But, but you're not going to get the best of economy out of it. I mean, I'm getting, depending on how I drive and whether I've got the uh, air conditioning on, I've actually turned the air conditioning off now because I don't need it. I mean, yeah, when I come out in the morning or something, need to have dryer air to uh, clear up the windows or something but but it's um, I don't need it so I just leave it on there and uh, I mean yeah it, it'll boost the heat up a bit more a bit hotter if you need it but I've got it at 75 in here that's fine uh, she's a bit too warm to be fair but, but that's where it is at the moment but yeah, um, anyway, also, I mean, I keep seeing stuff about different things on DoorDash, where they're trying to make people employees, etc. Um, be with us, we'll, we'll uh, give you $15 an hour. But it, doing $15, I guarantee you $15 an hour, and you get 100% of the tips. Uh, I, I wouldn't do that. I would not do that at all. I mean, you be, you have to pick up every bloody order. And now they're supposed to be getting rid of the top dasher thing, apparently, and bringing in some diamond program. I don't know. I mean, uh, I'm just going to continue to do it as, as I already do it. 
I mean, I'm doing it with, um, oh, oh, try and get some light. I'm doing it as just cherry picking. I do it with uh, Grubhub. I did one with Grubhub tonight, only one. Can't remember where that one went, but anyway. Um, and did, uh, I did have Uber on, but I can't remember. Uber went off after a while. I, I don't know what. I don't think anything worthwhile came through it. Um, but yeah, it was. Uh, you just got a cherry. You got a multi app, and you got a cherry pick. Um, if you're a new driver or a driver that's still hipping, taking every order, don't take every bloody order. I mean, I've prob I've done less work tonight as regard. I haven't moved the van. I haven't moved it unnecessarily. Um, it's used less fuel, and I probably if you can earn as much as as uh, any of those that are rushing around taking every stupid order like two dollars fifty cents. Actually, I think a couple came through tonight for two dollars. Um. And again, I know if there's customers watching this, you think that I'm being greedy. Well, I'm not. There's a reason. But I mean, look at it yourself. If you're a customer and you're looking at me thinking, well, why are you being so bloody greedy? Well, I'm not. Okay. Um, think how much it is for you to be out and about. Would you want to get your ass up? At, well, you wouldn't want to get your ass up and take it to the, to the shop to the restaurant to get it because one you know that you've uh, got to get out there one you know that you've got to sit and wait for it um, more likely if you're not in a drive through you're sitting in the restaurant um, and the other is the fuel it, you may only going to be five miles five miles away to uh, pick up the food but, I mean, if you're uh, kicking it around town a bit and, and sitting outside in, in the vehicle waiting for your food to arrive if you're uh, in a drive-through drive, drive -through or whatever, um, you're going to be using fuel there. So why do you think that the rest of us should just pick up your food for $2? You might miss bare minimum and that will go three miles at the most and um, because there's you have to uh, it's not all mileage I mean a lot of it is mileage fuel that you have to pay for of course yeah you think vipping three miles isn't 650 for three miles is great yeah well yeah I suppose it is it's two dollars a mile thereabouts but um, but it's all the waiting in the restaurant. Some restaurants are real quick. Some ain't. Some are not. Uh, 54th Street is well on that flipping list. There's always a bloody wait. Well, except tonight. But they didn't hardly have any people in there. Strange. Um... <laughs> you know, there's many... Re Many restaurants. I mean, it, Wingstop this week and the Italian the last week. There's a wait in there. Um, sometimes there's a wait at Pizza Hut. Uh, Pizza Hut and Rice Road are really good, but sometimes you can wait five, ten minutes. Not long. Um, but definitely, uh, you know, if you go to uh, Mai Tai Bistro, there's a wait there normally. Um, I mean, there's several restaurants around town where you're going to wait. On the border, most certainly. Um, but I haven't been there for a while. Uh, Jack Stack Barbecue, even. I mean, you go there, there's a wait there. And certainly with Firebirds. Firebirds, rarely ever, no wait there. Rarely. Um, and there's, there's, yeah, some of these places just take too long. But I mean, with Firebirds and Jackstack, I mean, you can understand with them, with, but, um, I mean, they have a lot of business going through there, certainly with uh, Jackstack. 
and it should be better food should be made a lot better because it's bloody expensive and the same with uh, firebirds too bloody expensive i mean you're not buying bloody sonic or some manky shit from uh um uh wendy's or bloody mcshite or somewhere i mean you're uh order, supposed to be order, ordering uh from a uh whole better restaurant chefs and whatever bigger restaurant they're not ter they shouldn't be turning out muck or whatever like bloody uh mcshite and bloody uh wendy's etc and burger king as well i'm gonna throw in burger king now after last night's flipping uh, fiasco with burger king but anyway uh yeah so that's why my uh, minimum is 650 because it's the weight too. And uh, of course we got to get to you the, the destination, delivery destination, deal with whatever we have to deal with here. Where the homeowner has uh, blatantly not put on the bloody uh, outside light so we can trip arse over to it and flatten your bloody food. Um, and leave it there on the uh, porch for you. You said leave it on the porch. You didn't say whether you wanted it flattened or not. Anyway, uh, but that'll be your fault for not putting the bloody light on. Generally, when I uh, pull up on the uh, uh, lights at night, when I went out to Grandview, the lights weren't on at that house. And uh, I pulled up on the driveway, put the full beams on, I lit the front of that flipping house up. They knew I was there. Um, and then uh, I had a delivery to Raytown, not my f most fondest of places to deliver to, but got up there. Uh, there was a couple of trucks in the driveway. I got most of the van flipping parked in there and just lit up the front of their house because people need to put, up, put their bloody lights on. If you haven't got a light on it, this is what I saw someone do one time. When it was last year when I would uh, first started, around the time I first started, and they really did try. They didn't have a uh, porch light. They'd written in there, the porch light isn't working. But what they did is they had a torch up there, upside light like that, put it on something, put it on something flat, and just lit it up. And that was enough. They just left it like that. You know, so it stood up right and it gave enough light for me to bloody well get up there and see where I was going. So, if your porch light don't bloody well work, then do something like that. Um, port, light bulbs are not expensive. I mean, you don't have to leave your light on all the time. But I got uh, these uh, bulbs that are uh, dawn to dusk. Something like that. Anyway, uh, or dust to dawn rather. Anyway, uh, just pop those in. I've got one in the uh, street lamp here, and I've got one on the on the light above the garage door there. And you just leave the switch on all the time. Put these in; they'll just switch themselves on and off. I got those off of, um, uh, and they're LED. Bloody hell, they're bright too. I didn't realise they were going to be as bright as what they were. But, um, so the LEDs, they, they use a heck of a lot less um, energy than than the uh, incandescent bulbs. And they'll switch themselves on and off. And uh, two of those, I think, were about six or seven dollars. They weren't a lot, and they last a heck of a lot, lot longer than a uh, incandescent bulb for sure, and cost you a heck of a lot less. I'll try to put a link in at the bottom. Anyway, uh, all right, so um, a few tips there. <laughs> I had no animals tonight, unfortunately. I did have one that was barking at me, but, uh, and they said, don't ring the bell. Well, I didn't ring the bell, but the dogs knew I was there. So, can't always help that. Um, dogs smell the food or they just hear the car door go sometimes or they just hear, I don't know, the bag rattling as it 
goes on the ground or something. Or maybe they'll just see the uh, me taking a picture of it. If I take a picture of the food, when we put it on your doorstep, and I have to. And sometimes if it's dark, I've got to put the uh, light on it to get a better uh, picture of it. Anyway, yeah. So uh, keep that in mind if you're a customer at least. Anyway, yeah, well, I don't think I've got anything else to go on about. I rattled on enough. I'm surprised I rattled on this long, half an hour. All right, anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget, hit the like button, the thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe as well. That'll all help. And don't forget, hit the bell icon if uh, you want to be warned of when the uh, new videos come out. And, um... Yeah, share it, share it with your friends if you think that there's uh, content in here. And uh, leave some con uh, even share it with your enemies as well. <laughs> if you think I can torture them for you with my voice. But, um, and if you've got any uh, constructive uh, criticism, go ahead, leave it. If you just want to have a go at me for whatever reason, then, uh, you know, bog off. Because uh, I really don't give a crap. I don't, re I don't really care. Whoops. Um, but uh, but no. I mean, uh, constructive criticism is always welcome. Uh, might help me uh, get along a little bit further with uh, more subscribers, and it may help someone else with whatever I can say that's different. But uh, if there's anything that you want me to show you what I have when I'm on the uh, road, uh, do you want me to do ride-alongs? I need to, I know I want to do uh, some ride-along videos so you can see all of what I do when I'm driving along doing the crazy deliveries. Um, so I need another camera. That other camera I don't think's working out. The other, the old iPhone. Um, but yeah, um, I would like to do a few of those. I'd like to uh, show more of the area as well where I deliver to. Uh, it's, it's quite a nice area. At least some is quite a nice area to deliver deliver around. There's lots of parks. Uh, uh, you got the, uh, the lakes as well to uh, visit around there. Um, Lake Chicomo and Lake, Lake Blue Springs as well. They're right opposite one another. Lake Chicomo is a bloody massive great fipping lake and uh you've got the uh, missouri town in there there's the old age town and that that's that's nestled in by the uh, uh fleming park there over by the hoofed enclosure that have uh, bison and elk in there and they've got deers running around the park as well and crazy bloody squirrels but um but the deers kind of just roam around on their own. <laughs> they just do what they, they like. So you get to see those at the side of the road when you're wandering through there. Like it's a nice, it's a nice break. And then there's some cows as well, owned by a farmer over that way. And um, there's also a couple of little horses, tiny horses that that are uh, nestled on the entrance to the park. Uh, they're always nice to see, always like to see those little fellas. So yeah, like I said, it's a nice area to go to and there's various smaller parks as well, little dog parks and whatever. Uh, hiking places, I suppose. I don't do a lot of hiking. Not built for that. Or well, at least not no more. But, um, and there's always lots of uh, dogs going for walkies and that around the area. Tell you what I've seen lately, which uh, has been quite interesting. Last night, that would be Sunday night. <laughs> Sunday night, I was uh, coming down 2nd Street, heading towards... Um, uh, what was I heading towards? Let's say Don K. Hands. If you know the area, you'll know where that is. Anyway, uh, so I was coming down that way late last night. And, uh, you know, when you see people taking a dog for a walk, I mean, it, normally the only thing that you see is, like, the glitter of the chrome chain or whatever, the chrome collar piece where the uh, dog collar attaches to the lead 
or uh, if the people were actually ripping wearing lighter colour trousers or clothing of some sort or of course if it's a lighter coloured dog um, but this bloke, this one bloke last night, oh my gosh you could you would have had to be blind to rip him miss this bloke I mean he had uh, he had this jacket on it, something similar to what the police wear, I suppose, or the police in England. I don't know if they wear them here, but light jacket and it had reflectors like all the way across the back. So as soon as the back of my, uh, as soon as my headlights touched his uh, his uh, jacket, it lit up like a Christmas tree. I mean, it was bright. I've never seen one that bright. And then um, he had. Uh, torch as well and that was really really bright looking down to uh, see where he was going oh my gosh you just could not miss this bloke and then tonight or last night Monday night because it's now 20 past 12 and um, there was a I think it was a bloke taken out I, I was looking at the dogs more than anything and uh, the dogs had their little, um, on their uh, collars, they had little, these lights. Both of them had these bright LED lights. I mean, crikey, you couldn't miss those dogs. <laughs> they were, but it was good. I'm glad that they actually had some safety for the dogs and safety for the people actually out and about taking the dogs for a walk and that. The bloke had a, uh, he was... Uh, whoever was taking it, excuse me, whoever was taking them out, the dog, I don't know if it was a bloke or a woman or whoever, but they were lit up too, um, but I was too busy looking at dogs, I just thought, thought it was hilarious that they were all, had their collars and real bright vipping lights on them, but uh, I'm glad that they had it, because uh, there's a lot of times that, that I go out and we're out and about, and especially if we're in a darker road, we I mean there's a heck of a lot of dark roads in Lee Summit and uh, I don't know why they don't have more street lighting I don't know why they don't put uh, more LED lighting LED lighting is very cheaper now very much cheaper and it uh, uses a lot less energy and they need more of it out there because these uh, real smart houses too you know these in massive great bloody mansion houses I mean they take their dogs out or send someone out to take their dogs for walkies but but you can't bloody see anyone I mean yeah I've got the headlights of the car on but damn it some of these people are out there I don't know if they're out ready at the bloody cat burger or what and take the dog for a walk or, or what because they're just dressed in real dark clothing and some of them have got hoodies on or not the dogs, the uh, people. <laughs> but um, if you're taking a black dog for a walk or a really dark grey dog or something, you don't really see it. And it's like, oh my gosh. But, so it can be a bit of a nightmare delivering down some of these roads. But I do try to look for the animals. But, alright, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Um, and uh, like I said, like, subscribe, the bell icon, all of that the usual and um i'll be back on again after the next shift probably and uh, maybe i'll have some better content next time i need to get some better content um give me some ideas if you uh, read watching this if you made it to the end of the video give me some ideas of what you want me to uh, chat about uh, is there any help that you want me to give you uh, if you're a, a new dasher or uberer or gig driver of some sort um, is there a, uh, a new app that you think I should try out I'll give it a go I haven't tried point pickup yet but I'm on that and uh, bloody I'm off getting on here and um, spark I need to go back and look at spark and interesting enough, while I quickly think of that, um, I've been not noticed some uh, different w ways tonight. There was um, Walgreens was one, and I think High V. I took pictures of these new layouts of how these uh, orders are coming through or offers are coming through. So uh, I'll put put them up here, 
Um, but they were really strange how they came out, and it, it threw me a little, a little bit. And it was a little bit when you're driving along, it's a little bit harder to uh, actually uh, navigate when you're looking at it. So, uh, so I'll have to. Uh, I took the pictures of of all that I could. So I'll put those up here. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and uh, shut off. Thank you.